Smartphones are filled with an amazing array of sensors that measure movement, altitude, pressure, and much more. But for that sensor data to be useful, it must be processed. Software company Movea creates APIs that allow developers to turn that data into an amazing variety of useful things, like indoor navigation apps and smart sports equipment. So we can look at uh, a very basic uh, orientation application. And if you uh, take the data coming from these sensors and you fuse it together, uh, the resulting estimation of orientation is very robust. These are all MEMS-based sensors now. An accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a magnetometer. Uh, and with the uh, S3, there's also a uh, pressure sensor or a barometer in the phone. And we're going to be using all three of those, all four of those sensors, uh, for indoor navigation demo. We ask the user to enter a little bit of information. Uh, the real key piece of information, though, is the height. Uh, because there's a correlation between height and step length and step length is a key input to our uh, indoor navigation engine. Uh, what you see is uh, a map of the first floor or the lobby of the LVH Hotel. And uh, at this point we're going to start walking and let the app guide us to our meeting suite. It was detected that we're by the elevator. And now it's asking us to go up to the sixth floor. The motion uh, and awareness come from sensors. Uh, they sense what, uh, what we're doing, they sense the environment. Altitude sensors can even track you in an elevator. The app won't cut out because all the information is stored internally, and all the processing is done in the background by your phone. We bring all this data together uh, through a technique we call data fusion, and uh, that data fusion is what uh, delivers intelligence uh, to devices, apps, and services. Movea demonstrated the power of MEMS sensors with this live motion capture software. So the uh, full body motion capture demo is being driven by a body area network of 15 sensors that's being worn by the dancer. Now what makes this MEMS-based motion capture uh, system so interesting is that it's uh, of equivalent performance, roughly equivalent performance to a much more expensive uh, image or video based motion capture system which could go for as much as $50,000, uh, whereas this MEMS-based motion capture system uh, can go for under 10. Uh, and all the um, uh, information you see about the body movement on the screen uh, is being processed on the host and uh, displayed on the monitor. And so uh, Movia creates the software that sits on top of these uh, sensors. Uh, we read the data from those sensors, we process that data. Uh, we've done a, uh, a motion-enabled or a sensor-enabled tennis racket with Babala. But many of these sports applications require uh, significantly fewer sensors, but the principle is the same, uh, using sensors to uh, analyze human performance uh, with an eye towards improving that performance through, uh, through coaching and guidance. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Tecla Perry. Uh, but if you use air signature authentication, oh wait, sorry, I did it the wrong way, it, and it didn't recognize the gesture, so that's good. You don't want a, a false gesture to be recognized. Try that one more time. You've forgotten your gesture. <laughs> hey. Welcome, Mr. John Stark. Okay, there you go. And you can see it was actually hard to do, and that's good. You don't want anybody being able to replicate your air signature.